Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which is sitting right over here, into a full-fledged gaming console so you can play Fortnite. And of course, after this setup is complete, you'll be able to play Fortnite on a large monitor as I'm doing right now in front of me. Now, to accomplish this task, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing you need, obviously, is your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Then you're going to need this cable right over here. And then, of course, you're going to need a Bluetooth controller to control Fortnite wirelessly with this controller. And finally, you're going to need any monitor or TV that has an HDMI input. So that could be your high-definition TV sitting in your living room, or it could be any computer monitor that has an HDMI in input. Now, of course, the key here is the actual cable right over here. So this is a USB Type-C to HDMI in uh, cable. So this part over here connects to your actual smartphone, your Samsung LC S10, S10 Plus, or the S10e into the USB port. And of course, it's going to go around over here and connect into the monitor's HDMI port. And again, to be very clear, yes, you can use your high-definition TV or any HDMI monitor to accomplish this task. So what's happening right over here is the phone is being projected onto the actual monitor via screen mirroring. This is a built-in feature in the Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus. And of course, I have this controller here connected to the actual smartphone via Bluetooth, which is allowing me to control this game using this controller. Now, as you can see, you see the buttons here that say X, Y, B, A. And you can see here to play, I can press Y or to uh, Go to Team Rumble, I can press on X on the actual controller. And of course, uh, I am going to drop a link to this controller down in the description box below. So you can actually go and buy it if you want to accomplish this. And of course, I'm going to drop a, a link to this cable in the description box down below as well. So let me show you what's going on over here. So if I go to the phone here, whatever I do on the phone actually reflects on the screen. Okay, so if I go home on the actual uh phone on the monitor the same exact thing happens it's a complete screen mirroring process now when you connect the cable to the monitor you're going to see a few options over here one of them is going to be the samsung dex which if you tap on this one uh, this time what's going to happen is your computer actually your uh, monitor converts into a desktop like pc again the source is the s10 plus so you can do this if you just want to use this as a PC, maybe to browse the web or just edit documents. But if you want to play games, I recommend going back over here, scroll down a little bit, and then tap here to switch to screen mirroring. Now when you do that, you're going to see an exact reflection of the phone on the actual monitor. And then of course, if I go over here into the game, the game is going to be good to go looking great i'm gonna actually change the focus to the actual game i want to do a little bit gameplay so you guys can see what's going on but quickly i'm going to show you that the controller is in fact connected to this uh, system here and it's ready to go so as you can see it says press y to play i'm going to do that right now so uh, if i press y on this it is going to start the actual game okay so let's uh, wait for the game to actually start uh, really quickly so it's doing a matchmaking right now it's telling me the touch screen combat controls, which you can use as well from here, but it's going to be hard to look at this and play over here at the same time. That's why I recommend this controller. So the game is loading up, as you can see. Let's just give it a couple minutes, and there's the game. Okay, so over here, you can see the game. You can actually control the game if you want to, just like this. I don't recommend that. Just use the actual controller. So as I press the controller, as you can see, the girl is jumping around. In a couple seconds, we're going to be going to the uh, battle bus launching. There we go. So I'm going to switch my thing over, uh, my camera over, so we can look at the screen. But this is exactly what's happening. Let me just do this as well. So I can press the button. There we go. So as you can see, I can use the controller to look, look around. And right now I'm playing at 60 frames per second. Uh, this is all happening with the controller. Look at that. It's fantastic, all right? I can press on A, and that's going to launch the actual thing. And then I can just uh, go around. So great, okay? But let me quickly switch to the monitor so we can do a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see how well the game plays with this controller, with this cable, and with this monitor. It's a great little setup. And real quick, the phone is eating battery life right now. So you can actually put a wireless charger under the phone and put the phone on top of the wireless charger, and that's going to 
actually charge the phone while you're playing in this uh, screen mirroring setup. All right, so let me start the game by pressing Y on the controller. I'm gonna be using the controller from the background, but you can see everything happening on the actual screen as I control the controller. So again, it's doing the matchmaking. It's gonna be loading up the game right now. So these are the on-screen touch controls, but there's my actual controller that I'm using to control the game. So let's wait for the game to load. And we should be there in a couple seconds. And by the way, uh, right now I have the settings of this game set to 60 frames per second. So this game is in fact running at 60 frames per second. And it's running at almost 70 to 75% graphical detail. I'm going to show you all that in a minute. Uh, the game is still loading. It's going to be sending me to the battle, uh, the battle bus launch mode in a second. Uh, let's just wait. Here we are. Okay, so six, six seconds for me to open the door here and let's press A to jump and there we go. We're going down. Okay, fantastic. It's everything is looking amazing. We've got all these details. The game is running smooth. The performance is amaz amazing and all this is happening on a large 10 ATP screen, which is a lot more fun than playing the game on a little screen. Uh, on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Not to say that's not fun, but it's so much more immersive when you're playing the game in this mode. So basically, I'm just going to be playing around a little bit. I'm going to be running around, uh, looking for guns, looking for items, destroying stuff, just to show you how this entire thing looks for the next three to four minutes. Uh, you can watch this and just enjoy the game as it is. So we're about to land. Uh, let's uh, land next to that little structure over here, next to those two trees. And I'm going to try to destroy that structure right off the bat with my hammer. So let's get off. All right, so let's go towards the structure and break those legs. Okay, fantastic. 60 frames per second looks amazing. In a minute, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to get even more detail, but uh, potentially say goodbye to 60 frames per second and maybe play in 30 frames per second. So that structure is gone. Let's move around and see what's going on here. Uh, this is a lot of fun, by the way, on this screen with a controller. It's just too much fun. All right, let's let's uh, cross that road. And you can also go to the actual map uh, using the controller. And of course, let's go into the settings. And as you can see, I'm using the button A to go into the settings. And we have the uh, graphics at high setting. We've got 60 frames per second. If I go to epic graphics, uh, the FPS meter goes down. So let's set set this to epic and as you can see I have applied the settings the graphic settings and now uh, we have 30 frames per second but the graphical detail is a little bit better now personally I prefer 60 frames per second but this is fine too let's just des destroy some stuff and get some uh, material here all right looks like there's something hiding the, on the corner over there let's find out what that is after I break this all right so there's something hiding in there probably a chest all right, so that's broken. Let's open up the chest and see what's in there. Boom. Okay, we've got a gun. All right, that's great. So let's pick up everything else over here. We got the stink bomb and all these things, but that is in fact a gun. All right, I can I can zoom in and shoot. Again, everything is happening using a controller. Tap X on the controller to pick up items, and let's move on and find even more stuff. All right. So still, we are at 30 frames per second. Let me go back to 60 frames per second at high graphical settings. Uh, that's the way I like to play it a little, a little bit more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maximize the 3D resolution, which is also going to give me even more detail in the game. So the game still looks pretty amazing. And again, it is smooth and stutter-free at 60 FPS. Now, I do see a bridge on the far side, so let's uh, go towards that bridge and see what's happening, okay? And as you can see, I can switch my items using the LB button or the RB button on the actual controller. This controller looks like the Xbox 360 controller. All right, so there's the bridge. Let's see what's happening. All right, let's destroy some stuff, shoot at things. All right, there's a car right there. Okay, oh, there's a little uh, crack. Let's go down and see what's hiding at the bottom. Oh, there's a chest. All right, more stuff. So you got the chest, grab all that stuff. And we do have two weapons here. So we have a shotgun and a submachine gun. I prefer a shotgun, so let's grab that. All right, that's much better. All right. That's a shotgun. All right, let's keep going. And that's just how you build stuff, by pressing the appropriate button. 
Uh, something sitting over there. Let's grab it. Perfect. All right. Let's keep going on. Uh, but basically, this is it, guys. I'm not going to go too much into the uh, game because this is not a gaming channel. But I just want to show you guys how to set this whole thing up. And of course, I want to show you how good it looks when you're playing this with a controller on a larger screen than your smartphone's screen. But again, I'm going to drop all the links down below to the USB cable, to the Bluetooth controller. And of course, um, like I said, you can use any monitor or an HDTV with an HDMI in port. And of course, you can use your smartphone S10, S10e, or the S10 Plus. And make sure that you grab a wireless charger, for which I'm going to drop a link down below too, that can charge your phone while you're playing, as I showed you a couple of minutes ago. All right? If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know. For now, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.